Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. If you are new, my name is Mari Suggs and I am a self-published author of novels and journals and I am so thankful that you're here. If you have not taken the time to subscribe yet, make sure you do so before leaving. So I wanna talk about the pros and cons of working on multiple releases at once. If you guys have been following along, you know that I am working on a re-release and I am working on a brand new release all at once. So I put together a list of the pros and cons and the things that I've noticed along the way and the things that I have coming up based on all the work that I have to do and let you guys decide if it's something that you guys would um, like to take on in the future or if you're thinking of possibly doing two releases at once just so that you know the pros and the cons and you can judge for yourself if it is a good idea for you or if you just want to say let me work on one release at a time so without further ado let's jump into the video i'm going to work through the good first so i'm going to start off with the first pro is that you get to release your book and that's what we all want as writers right we don't want to just hold on to a manuscript and have it in our computers and just work on it for you know year after year after year without holding a precious book in your hand so a pro is that you actually get to get a book out there and you get to hold your precious book in your hand number two is obvious you get sales if you publish a book and you promote a book and you get it out there and you do your your work as a marketer not just as an author you actually get to make a little money if not a lot of money depending on where you sell your book and how much work you put into it but obviously making money is always a pro the third thing that you get from releasing multiple books is that you get brand momentum so because you are working a lot on different projects you have a lot of content to share with your audience if you've got one which i highly recommend that you do if you're an author so for example i have a youtube channel and i have an instagram so because i'm working on two releases at once i have a lot of things that i want to share with my audience and therefore that gives me a lot of content that i can put together and in return I am getting brand momentum because the more I share, the more people like, and therefore my audience grows. And the next pro that I have for you is that it is actually exciting to work on your book. While I am working on the re-release of Between Us and working on the sequel to Between Us, I do get excited for my product not only holding the book in my hand but actually creating videos like this or taking pictures for instagram or just seeing the potential of my book you know dreaming that it could be a new york times bestseller it's just getting excited for the product that you're putting out there is always a pro at least it is for me so those are the pros of working on multiple releases at once and now we're going to head into the cons and i've only got um, three cons for you but I think they're pretty uh, significant so let's jump into the first one although I said it was exciting to work on all these different projects you know I'm working on the cover for between us I'm also working on the cover for the sequel I am working on the audiobook for between us I'm also working on editing the sequel to between us so I am working on a lot of things and what ends up happening is that it is a lot of work a lot of things to balance out so you can get a little stressed if you don't set specific guidelines for yourself and deadlines and just plan ahead as you guys probably know i work from home this is my full-time job it's just writing and creating content for youtube and i could potentially work all day long from the moment i wake up to the time i go to bed and even on the weekends for example today is sunday and i'm recording this video but i do have strict rules for when i work like i usually don't work at night unless I can't get it out of my head if you guys watched my last video um, videos where I was vlogging the entire process of the cover reveal and getting my book to the editor the sequel I there were a couple nights where I did work at night because I just 
I couldn't turn it off. So that's definitely a con when you have so much to do, at least for me, I'm constantly thinking about it and I can't get it out of my head until I actually get it done. So that is definitely a con of working on multiple releases. There is a lot of work to be done. And if you don't have like, for example, I wrote everything down that I needed to do for just one thing, which was just the cover reveal. I had to write it down and before then, I had written it down, I can't even tell you how many times. I wrote it here and I wrote it here and I wrote it here and I just kept writing it down over and over again and just until I came up with one checklist so that I knew because I was keeping it in my head and I kept thinking of all the things I needed to do. And that's the, that's the thing about getting about doing this that could get frustrated because you have so much to do that you don't know which order to do it in. So con, a lot of work, it could be hard to balance, it could be hard to um, just relax. So I recommend that if you do decide to work on multiple releases that you create a plan and you stick to it. Try to get crystal clear on what you're gonna do first, what needs to be done first, and give yourself plenty of time. Don't rush it. Don't try to do it, you know, months or weeks from each other so that you don't get overwhelmed with the many things that have to be done because I'm not gonna lie to you, when you, are working on a release there's a lot that goes into it for example I'm just gonna work I'm just gonna talk about the re-release which I'm doing I'm not even talking about brand new releases because that's something completely different this is me working on multiple releases and by that I mean between us was released last year at the beginning of the pandemic and because it was released at the beginning of the pandemic. I really didn't do a lot with it because as you know, none of us were really in the right mindset. So I wanted to give the book a fresh start this year. So I wanted to create a new cover. I wanted to add the sequel to um, Between Us to the book, the existing book, and I'm working on the audiobook. But essentially that's almost like a brand new release, which means I am creating a new cover. I had to reformat, you know, make sure the last chapter was formatted correctly. I had to hire a um, narrator for the voice for the audiobook. I'm also uh, researching different bloggers so that I can get reviews on the book. So there's a lot that goes into just that. Then I'm working on the brand new release of the sequel, which means it's like everything from start. I had to finish writing it. I have to have it edited. I have to format it. I have to hire the cover designer. I have to create a marketing plan for that release. So like I said, it's just a lot to work on two releases at once. The second thing that comes along with that is when there's a lot of work, there's a lot of stress that goes along with it. So if you are prone to getting stressed easily and getting overwhelmed easily, it might not be a good idea for you to work on multiple projects at once. I tend to get stressed, I would say pretty easily if I don't have a plan. As long as I know when things are going to get done and as long as I know how they're gonna get done and deadlines and all that, then I'm okay. The problem with me is that I tend to have an idea and I tend to just run with it instead of saying, okay, that is a good idea. For example, I had the idea that I wanted to do the cover reveal on the one year anniversary of the book. Initially, I wanted to wait to do the cover reveal when the audiobook was completed and that would have given me plenty of time. So instead of giving me three months to do the cover reveal and plan it that way, I decided to do it in two to three days. So that is not good planning, therefore I was stressed and I was working long hours just to get it done. So that's what I mean by it can be stressing. If you don't have first a plan 
of action. And if you're not willing to stick to that plan, then it can become very stressful. And finally, the last con, which I think is probably one of the most significant ones, is that it's actually very expensive to work on two projects at once. Like I said, um, I did a cover reveal for Between Us. Well, not only did I have to pay for that cover reveal, but now I'm having to pay for the cover reveal for the sequel. Not only am I paying for the audiobook, but I'm also still paying my editor for the sequel for all the things they need to do to it. Then I have to order books and then I have to upload it to um, Ingram Spark, which also costs money. If you are buying your own ISBNs, that's going to cost you money. Um, it's just if you're paying for formatting, that's going to cost you money. So, advertising, promotion. I mean, it's just a lot of money going out at once. For, so it's double the money because you're not just working on one project, you're working on two. So needless to say, I'm not a fan of working on multiple releases at once. And I don't think I will ever do it again. <laughs> um, I like working on one project at a time. And I know a lot of people do these fast releases Well, they release one, one book and then another one a month later and then another one a month later. I am not a fan of that. That's fine for them. Um, I don't like working that way. I really like giving my attention to one project at a time. Traditionally published authors typically release a book once every two years. And now I know why that is. That's actually been the trend that I've been on. I've, I've been releasing like a book almost every two years, novels. I mean, I released my book companion journal and the super manifesting journal, I think a year, uh, every, every year. But as far as novels are concerned, I was doing it like every two years and I know exactly now I know exactly why that is, because like, you do need that time to get off the high of you know your last book, and then you need to start writing your next book, and then you need to start really getting into that world, and then you start getting into the future of the book and what you want to do with it, and then you start getting into cover design and marketing. You start getting into all, all these different things that I think if you do one book at a time, at least for me, that works best. All right, you guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up as it does help me so much with the YouTube algorithm. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure you do so before leaving and I will see you guys again in a brand new video next week. Until then, stay safe.